To set up this workflow, add a new workflow, but this time select Action Extension for the workflow type. Next, where it says this workflow accepts anything, press on anything to select the different file types that can be accepted by this workflow. Make sure that just images is selected and press done. Now swipe from left to right to go to the actions menu. Select the crop image action and drag it to the right to add it to your workflow. You can change the details, including the position you want the image to crop from and the width and height of the cropped image. I'm going to leave the position set as center and change width to 640 and height to 480. Go back to the actions menu and search for Save to Photo Album. Select this action and drag it to the right to add it to your workflow. You can select a specific album you want to save the cropped image to, but I'm going to leave it set to All Photos for now. Now press the gear icon, type in a name for the workflow, for example, Save and Crop, select a new icon if you'd like, and then press Done. To run a workflow that is saved as an action extension, you have to open up the share sheet from within another app. I'm going to open the Photos app, select the photo I want to crop, and press the share sheet. You'll notice in the share sheet there's now another option to run workflow. Select this option and then select the workflow you'd like to run. In this case, save and crop. The workflow will run and it will save a new image cropped to 640 by 480 to my photo album. And now if I go back to my photos app, I can see the cropped image.